Hey guys, today I thought we would take a look at some of the most underrated and rare and expensive American Girl dolls. These, of course, aren't all of them, but they are some of my favorites. And also, shout out to I Dream of Johnny because it's where I got a lot of the ideas. Okay, white body Samanthas might be hard to find, but finding one that is numbered is even harder. And uh, if it's under 100, that is extremely rare. These can go up to like $1,000, $2,000. Next up is Just Like You number one. She wasn't around for long and of course she isn't overly popular, so she is very expensive. I think last I checked she was $600, but of course that was only one eBay listing. So there is a couple things in this Samantha photo that I wanted to point out and we'll start with amber eyes. You can see that usually she has the dark brown eyes in that photo, but in this one, she has lighter amber eyes, which were only around in 86 and 87, which makes her more rare. And along with that, she has the bigger teeth, I think in that one, it's either that or chip teeth, those go with bigger teeth. And that is where they were bigger and that was just for a little while in 1986 along with the chipped teeth, which were also just at the beginning of 1986. And they're smaller and not as big as the normal AG teeth. I don't know what these dolls go for. I couldn't find one for sale, but I'm sure it is quite a lot. The next doll is of course Kanani, and especially Kanani when she has a box included. Kanani, her prices have gone down since uh, in the past couple years but she is still very, very expensive and hard to find in good condition. And if she has had a re head replacement, that means she has the newer Jess mold. And that is even harder to find if you have the older Jess mold. So both Lindsay and Kaylee are hard to find, of course, but the thing that makes Kaylee harder to find is, as you can see on this Nelly, she is yellowed. And so for Kaylee, her doll yellows easily. And so trying to find a Kaylee at all in her meat outfit without yellowed skin or even without a box is extremely hard and very expensive. And next is Sonali. Of course, she is hard to find. We all know that she goes for crazy prices, although they have gone down a teeny bit now that we have new Sonali mold dolls. Last is what I like to call the pre-Samantha or the good Samantha. The one on the left in that photo is the Pleasant Company Samantha and the one on the right is the Goods Romina doll, which is what Samantha was modeled after. In this second photo, you can see that Romina looks a lot like Samantha and she goes for $1,000 online. And that is all I have for today. I hope you have a great day and I will see you later. Bye.